United States presidents, they run the USA, they've ran the USA, and they will continue to run the USA. But forget all the unimportant stuff. Let's talk about what really matters. Everybody wants to talk about how good the presidents are at being president. But weirdly enough, nobody wants to talk about how good the president's hairstyles are. But whenever I look at the presidents and their hairstyles, the first thing that comes to my mind is a big giant pile of dog shit like a really big one not a small one a, a really ginormous one so i figured in order to represent america and do the usa some justice why not fix up the presidents and give them the best darn hairstyles i could possibly fit them george washington I'm sure I'm not the first person to say this, but George, what the goddamn bullshit is that? I understand that trends are a thing, and back then, looking like a 97-year-old Karen was, like, the move for some reason. And this is crazy, too, because there's no real pictures of George Washington. They just had paintings back then. So the painters either did him dirty, or George actually looked like a bunch of white pubes. If I had to rate George Washington's white pube hairstyle out of 10, I'd give it, like, a 3.1. I just feel like when I look at your hair, the first first thing that I think about shouldn't be Dr. Phil's armpits. But unfortunately, that's just the case when it comes to George. Man's got that crusty old woman wig. George Washington, you need an upgrade, man. I know it seems very ironic the fact that George Washington's upgraded hairstyle is just getting rid of all of his hair, but trust me, I actually took some time to think this one through, and I really feel like George Washington was just one of those people who just rocks the bald head better than most. I think George Washington rocks the Jeff Bezos slash Dwayne Johnson slash Caillou hairstyle really well. With this new hairstyle, George Washington easily goes from a 3.1 to a 8.7. You know, I'd let George Washington French kiss my dog if my dog consents to to it. Thomas Jefferson. Back at it again with the Dr. Phil Pubes wannabe ass hairstyle. Like I said, I understand it's a trend, but we also got to remember the fact that eating Tide Pods was also considered a trend. I'm going to give this one a 2.8 out of 10. I gave this one a lower rating because it's the same as George Washington's, but it's shaped even worse and the bangs actually really frustrate me a lot. So how do we fix such an atrocious ass hairstyle? Let's find out. <laughs> I like it, mostly because I made it, but I still like it. Honestly, you look so much more presentable, intercourseable, and I feel more comfortable breathing the same air as you now. I thought of a lot of other hairstyles for this guy, but the buzz cut just suits him well. It fits his face and everything, man. In my book, Thomas Jefferson just went from a 2.9 out of 10 to an 8.6. I love you, Thomas Jefferson. Hand heart. Let's com complete the, finish the hand heart. Uh, oh, wait, no, the guy's dead. Never mind. Abraham Lincoln. Finally, a president whose hairstyle doesn't look like the hairs from Papa Smurf's ass crack. Abraham Lincoln's hair, honestly, I can't fault it. Granted, it's not perfect. It's not even remotely great. But compared to the rest of the presidents, it's pretty damn good. But off of just an objective hairstyle scale, I'm going to give Abraham Lincoln a 6.9 out of 10. The only thing that's really keeping it from being good is, I'm just going to say, his hairline is just a little bit clapped. I don't know if it's receding or if his barber just really really didn't like him. What would Abraham Lincoln's ideal hairstyle look like? Let's find out. <laughs> Give Mr. Lincoln that hog hairstyle. Listen, honest Abe, let me be the honest one today. You look great. I know the mohawk is a very interesting choice. It's not a very favored hairstyle at all, but I'm not gonna lie. Abraham Lincoln can rock the mohawk. And there's not many individuals in this world that you can say that about. He honestly kind of looks like he could be in a biker gang. Before the upgrade, Abraham Lincoln was already sitting at a 6.9, but he immediately rises to a 9.5. I know a mohawk isn't exactly the most flattering hairstyle, but if you're able to pull off a good mohawk, that makes you unique. And that boosts your score up, in my opinion. Dude, imagine Abraham Lincoln freeing the slaves with a mohawk. Now that would be pretty flippin' awesome, dude. Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore, not the chipmunk, Roosevelt. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. What are you doing? What the hell is that? Just looking at this, I can tell that you spend 20 minutes every morning combing the shit out of your hair, brushing it down until your scalp turns red. I'm gonna give Theodore his credit, though. His hairline does seem to be a little bit intact. So I'm gonna give it a 4.3. Theodore Roosevelt, your hair is trash. Let's fix that. Theo, you look awesome. You look freaking, you look better than this guy. Just kidding. 
You look amazing. I have a confession to make. If I'm being completely honest with you, I just thought Theodore Roosevelt kind of looked like Mr. Pringle. So I thought if Mr. Pringle is pretty handsome and Theodore Roosevelt looks like him, then why not just give him Mr. Pringle's hairstyle? I mean, look how good it turned out. It looks great, I think. John F. Kennedy. J. F. K. I'm gonna be honest, I think his hair looks perfectly fine. I just feel like it's the perfect hairstyle for his look. Like, I don't think this would look too good on me, but on JFK, I gotta say, it looks kind of fire. I'm not even gonna change anything on this one. This one is gonna actually stay the exact same. George Bush. Oh, 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 golly. That's, ooh. This is very much giving off basic old man hairstyle vibes. I'm gonna give George Bush's hair a 4 out of 10. It's not atrocious, but it's also not good. Want to see George Bush with a pretty damn good hairstyle? Let's check it out. Oh my god, look how sexy George Bush looks like with the Edgar cut. I think if there's any president out there that can rock the Edgar cut, it's gotta be George Bush, right? If I had to give George's new hairstyle a rating, I'd give it a 9 out of 11. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. You're looking clean, George. Keep up the good work, pal. Barack Obama. Barack Obama literally just has a plain buzz cut. Like, no fade, no nothing, just a buzz cut. I'm gonna rate it a 6 out of 10. Not bad by any means. Let's see what Barack Obama looks like at his full potential. You know what, guys? I really think I made a mistake here. And that mistake was not bringing a canoe because my guy Barack Obama is looking drippy. Doesn't this man look so goddamn majestic right now? 10 out of 10. Enough said. Donald Trump. Donald Trump's got some, uh, very questionable hair. Yeah, Donald Trump also might need a few trips to Turkey. His balding slash comb over hairstyle, I might have to give it like a 5 out of 10. Let's see what Donald Trump looks like with a 10 out of 10 hairstyle. <laughs> So I thought the cornrows would be a very good choice. And I understand that cornrows aren't exactly the best idea for somebody that's balding. But I feel like he should embrace the fact that he's a balding male and really show that side of himself to let people know, hey, I'm balding. Look at my head. And if you have like a really good skin routine and you take care of your head very well, I mean, many people will be complimenting it and people might even say you have good head game. Yeah, I give this hairstyle a 10 out of 10. Donald Trump, you're welcome. I just gave you your next best hairstyle. Joe Biden. Oh, yeah, this is like the exact same problem as Trump. The only difference is his hair is not comb over, but he's got like the balding thing going on. The thing that, you know, older men do, balding. That's, uh, he's doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10 as well. His hairline kind of looks like a trapezoid. Let's find out what Joe Biden looks like with his most ideal hairstyle. <laughs> I thought the long middle part would look really good on him, mainly because it looks good on a lot of people. But regardless, I gotta admit, Joe, you're looking real snazzy with that new hairstyle. I give this a clear 10 out of 10. Like, comment, share with your auntie, and, and nah, don't subscribe. I'm kind of a bitch. Nah, but regardless, I think that, like, you should still subscribe. Like, you should still subscribe.